Merry Christmas, my wonderful subscribers. Welcome to another video. My name is Smarty771, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about why I believe the Heavy class is the best one in Star Wars Battlefront 2. In no other class are you able to whip out a sentry gun and rain out death against the enemy. In no other class can you throw a short fuse grenade followed by a barrage of other grenades followed by running in with a machine gun with explosive shot capabilities. The heavy is actually literally the best class in the game and if you disagree with me you're a communist. I'm just kidding. I don't really think you're a communist, I just think you're wrong. So let's go in depth on why I believe that this class is the best one in the game. Let's first talk about my loadouts and uh, how I'm running in these matches that you're seeing in this footage here. So the weapon of choice for me is the DC-15 LE. I like it because of its high rate of fire and also once you get the improved recoil attachment on it, it's really good at distance as well. I like running it with the reduced recoil and the improved zoom, but the only problem with the improved zoom that you might see in the footage here is that when I zoom in, I'm playing on Xbox by the way, but when I zoom in, the crosshair disappears and I have to just follow the bullets and I can't really use the crosshair. It happens maybe 75% of the time, I hold the left trigger to zoom in. It's really irritating, but hopefully it'll get fixed in the next patch. I also unlocked the exploding shot while I was playing to get footage for this video. Uh, the explosive shot is nice, except I really didn't notice much of a difference in the time to kill. Uh, it pretty much increases the damage of each shot, but I think that over time you're still going to do the same amount of damage as if you just didn't have that attachment on there. It might be good to knock out people that are already low on health, but as far as taking out people or how long it takes, I really did not notice that much of a difference. and I think I would be able to notice since Heavy is my main character. My star cards of choice for the attacking team are the one that has the, uh, the behemoths, I guess, on their side are the resourceful card, which makes all the recharge times of your other star cards faster, the supercharged sentry, and the barrage. So these things are really helpful when it comes to attacking the other team and defending your ATATs or your droid carriers or whatever it happens to be. So for the attacking team, I like using the survivalist, which uh, makes your health regeneration faster. Um, I don't really have a reason for picking Resourceful over Survivalist or one over the other at any point. Uh, they both have their own uses. I just find myself needing Survivalist more when I'm on the defending team, just so I can go back and take cover, get my health back faster, and uh, get back into the fight. The Supercharged Sentry, again, I don't use the Explosive Sentry because with the Explosive Sentry you can't move when you're shooting and also it's not very good at hitting long range targets because there's incredibly strong recoil and it's hard to hit enemies at a distance. And I also use the ion turret to take out the enemy's behemoths. So whenever they're able to be hit, I just throw it down and uh, get some PTFO points from that. So at level 35, you're able to max out your star cards, which I have been able to do in the heavy class. is the only class that I have this high. <laughs> it, because of this 1.5 times XP event that's going on, I was able to grind and get up to almost level 40 really fast and easily from about level 25. So imagine that you are the heavy. You're running through the battlefield with your rifle with explosive shot and reduced recoil letting you hit anybody at any distance. You see many of them down a corridor, so you just pull out your sentry, whether it be the normal one or the supercharged or even the explosive, and you just take out three or four of them before that runs out. Then you toss a impact grenade and then you shoot a barrage in there and get even more guys, I tell you. The Heavy is awesome because of the amount of area damage abilities it has, from grenades to the sentry to exploding shot. The enemy is really going to have a bad time when they find themselves on the other side of your barrel. Another reason the Heavy is good is because it's really good at being a support role. That is, either pushing front, flanking, or staying in the back. It's good in any of those positions, but it's good at laying down heavy volumes of fire to keep the enemy from pushing into a... Uh, hallway or down an alley in Kashyyyk or something like that because when enemies see or when anybody sees the sentry fire coming through or sees a big flurry of grenades that's going to slow down the enemy's advance considerably at least for maybe 10 seconds and let your guys either flank or set up a defense which is what you're trying to do. You're also really effective at taking out enforcers, aerials, and heroes because of the high amount of damage you could put out in a little bit of time. You can throw down the impact grenade on their position, or you could just stand at a medium or long distance and take them out with the sentry if they're out in the open. 
I found this on Naboo to be very helpful. I was able to take out a few heroes with the uh, impact grenade. I was able to whittle down the health of some strong enemies with the sentry, and make them fall back and take cover, which took them out of the fight for just a few minutes, which provided my team with a, the benefit they need. Other classes like Officer are able to rack up lots of battle points and are able to support the team like Officer should with their battle command and with their turrets and they may not be that good at putting out damage but they're really good at empowering other players to be effective fighters. The Assault's really good at moving quick and flanking and uh, pretty much poking and jabbing at the enemy and the Recon or the Specialist class is good at hitting enemies from a distance. So that's where the heavy really shines, is because it's able to either short, medium, or long distance, it's able to outgun every class pretty easily. If you're in a firefight with a heavy, chances are you're gonna lose. Unless you're running Vanguard in Assault, or can't remember it off the top of my head, or the one thing with the specialist that they're able to pull out that three-shot rifle and run really fast and take out enemies that way. But in any other case, you're pretty much gonna be able to outshoot any other gun and, uh, some guns may have higher damage output than the heavies, but with the volume of fire, able to put out the most amount of bullets before you have to discharge the heat on the heavies' weapons. I highly encourage you guys to take advantage of this 1.5% XP so that you'll be able to get all the star cards and get to level 35, which is a level you need to max out the star cards so you can really be competitive. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Star Wars and this game that I've been playing, Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the Xbox One X. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the footage. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite class is. And I hope you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Smarty771 signing off. Don't forget to join the Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next video.